How's it going, Reject Nation? Greg Alba here. John! We are going to watch another episode of Cobra Kai, episode 5, Counter Balance. Yeah. Supposedly, this is the best episode, according to a lot of people's feedback on Awful. the show so far. Before we do that, it's the end of the month, so I want to say thank you to everyone who's been joining our Patreon page thus far. We do Q&As, music video coverage, and we do a TV show watch-alongs for many a show. On my personal end, I cover Attack on Titan, Gotham, Almost done with uh, season four of The Flash. John's End, he has finished all of Riverdale season one. He's on season two right now. He's Good. caught up to Atlanta and he started Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Together we cover My Hero Academia. Just finished all of season one. Almost done with season two of Jessica Jones. One more episode left of Black Lightning and of course Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. And with that in mind, patron of the day shout out for Eric Oliver. Eric, my man, my dude, my homie, my bro. The mandem with the fandom. Mandem with the fandom. You're always so busy that you rarely get back to me on time, yet you're one of our highest pledges. I find it funny how you're one of our highest ones, and yet you seem like you don't care for any of the reward tiers anymore. Am I cool with that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But does it make me feel guilty? <laughs> Not yeah. really. Uh, oh, yeah. Not yeah, really. yeah. Totally. I, totally. No. I yeah. feel so guilty. What I feel is love for you, Eric. For Eric all I feel yeah, like love for you. The only thing I'm you live in California. You should come visit us sometime. It's much nicer at our two bedroom apartment than it is your, your three bedroom house. house. <laughs> All right, let's watch this. Hit and play. I'm excited. It's right down the street from us. Literally, that building. <laughs> I know that building. <laughs> when were they shooting? <laughs> Ouch. Whoa! That does look dangerous wow. and painful. Oh! Teacher is locked in the face. I want to ride in the face. Good old training montage to kick things off. I like it. Oh! oh right in the gut. Ooh. Pointless shin blocks. <laughs> Nice. They sweep the legs. Oh, <laughs> dick. <laughs> you want a fair fight? Dream on. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't, just don't be a baby. <laughs> Dude. <that's... laughs> Hello. Uh, Yoga. It's five o'clock. Twilight is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> Love is here to Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> the yoga has no preparation. Just go down, get in the position. Do it. So it's not only the lobster that's being buttered up, huh? <laughs> Tell me, what can Armand do for you? Kill Johnny Lawrence. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming. You were supposed to go to a concert together? Mm -hmm. Then I was a human being this. to my friend. Anthony, stop drinking the butter! <laughs> <laughs> that character specifically. Yeah, he's fat. Uh, yeah, uh, snake karate or something. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, damn. Oh, he's playing this damn. clever. <laughs> what he's going to be a serial killer. Hey. Whoa. That's what their relationship is. Okay, like. you caught me. I am going out, but you know, it is 9 LA week, so. You're only getting older and bigger and. Sooner or later, you're going to leave me for a life filled with excitement. It's not really a point in us spending time together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm actually here yeah. for fun. I saw your website. It said that there was supposed to be a session today. I appreciate you coming in, but there are no girls in Cobra Kai. What? Bro. bro. Same reason there aren't women in the army. Doesn't look good. What rock has he been living on? Doesn't make sense. <laughs> this isn't a knitting class. This is a dojo. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat an entire box of Twinkies every day. Wow. Your dad is Isaiah Robinson. Hall of Fame lineman for the Chargers. Yeah, so you're saying it's genetic or love for Twinkies comes from your dad? I'm saying your family's loaded. And she's a paying customer. You don't even Johnny. Know, right? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, take off your shoes. Hop on the mat. Interesting. What a dick. You know, all emotional, loud, complaining, never letting you finish a sentence. Well, I know a few guys who act just. Quiet! 
<laughs> they tell me things like I'm ugly and that I should kill You should start a YouTube channel. Dude, it's like <laughs> how it's you like, make it. Back in my day, if you wanted to cheese someone, you did it to their face. <laughs> it was an honor, respect. <laughs> These geeks are sure. behind their computers with a bunch of spineless. Yeah! This episode speaks to me. Up, up. Smoking dank marijuana drugs. <laughs> Open up and give me money. <laughs> They're even making fun of homeless people and <laughs> shit. These annoying ass bitches. <laughs> we thought you were a poor person! Why have you guys been avoiding me? What do you think? You've been purging and not telling me? Okay, let's see what you got, Miss Robinson. I don't even like that Where's actress me? now. I want yeah. her dead. <laughs> I believe she's the character. <laughs> and show her we'll win her equal and give her everything you want. <laughs> your enemies don't care what day it is. They prey on weakness. If you want to beat them, you got to conquer your fears and jump face first into the fire. Good teacher, well, something, yeah, right? I say, like, you gotta, I feel like his arc is... Oh, wow! Oh, my God. I, I, are you okay? Yeah, linebacker. Oh. 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 <laughs> Ow. She like burst his stomach open or something. Girl's a natural cobra. Shut up, you old girl. I can't hear you. Uh, you you go ahead. <laughs> I'm trying to run a karate dojo next door. Uh. Okay. I get why he wants to go live with dad. <laughs> Oh, that's disturbing. Okay, yeah. If you happen to have 60,000 more of these, <laughs> somewhere, I think we can work something out. What? This is solid gold. Dude, just get more customers. It's dude, not that hard. Just fight the landlord. Oh, dude, they work right across the street from McDonald's. Dude, that's pretty hot. From Cobras. I don't need the paint. I'm sorry. I'll just take the gum here and uh, put that guy's beer on my tab. <laughs> Looks like he's had a rough day. That's not suspicious. Oh. <laughs> Karate dick. <laughs> Five year old one. Somebody got some payback. You're telling me that the whole Zarkarian dinner was just some convoluted plot so you could raise the rent on your child's big karate day? <laughs> I think you're over. <laughs> but what about the other stores so. in the mall? I mean, did you even consider them? The guy spray painted a dick on my face. So what? He's an asshole. Don't let him turn you into one. Oh, lessons. We're at the dark midpoint. I hate her. I hate her so much. He does it with Kyler. I hear he doesn't mind that you suck. Oh, what? Why would she turn on her? <laughs> fight, fight, fight. You know that Bilbo with a big ass dick on it? <laughs> I guess Sam takes after a dad. <laughs> Oh, Miguel! Hey, Kyler! I'm ready for your lame ass karate this time. It's not lame ass karate. It's Cobra Kai. Mug! <laughs> oh, yeah, you know that move, dog. Yeah. Oh! 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 In the nuts. Oh, yeah. Miguel! Killing the game. You get a little Jackie Chan in there. Nice. They're using props. Nice. Oh. What about using your environment, dude? <laughs> Boom. That is, that is a sick moment right yeah. there. <laughs> that was a well earned moment. Like so many high school wallflowers. Oh. The catharsis. Oh. I gotta go back to talk one to one. Yeah. You mean that big dumb one? When my school called my Yaya answered, never seen her so proud. Oh. Talk. <laughs> right, so let me get this straight. You took all the lessons I taught you and you used them to straight up beat the shit out of this <laughs> Follow me. I could not have been more proud if you were my real son. I was gonna give him an official key. Are you sure? Hell yeah. Only until I repair my relationship with my son. Aww. Mr. Miyagi. Oh, beautiful truck. That is. Where is this local cemetery? Your daughter's about to have sex with the lead student of Cobra Kai. <laughs> <laughs> That's the very next scene. All life has a balance. Everything is better. Understand? You gotta kick 
kick Johnny Lawrence's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It's like a super soldier out of one kid, and now he's got all these students. Look at him just standing like a boss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I ain't even talking with anyone. One of these kids just fucking. <laughs> uh, yeah, YouTube video. Looks like we're in business. Dude, he's got to make Miguel a partner. So what's he doing? He's building a dojo within his home? Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in college? <laughs> just taking some oh. time. This is exactly where I want to be. Welcome to the LaRusso family. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Clever girl. And then Danny's going to train him. <laughs> yeah, for no reason. Oh, is that his headband? Yeah. Yeah. Funny <laughs> shot right there. You really made a nice room out of it. Yeah. <laughs> On a date? That's right. Aww. 2005. 2005. Nope, nope, stopping it. I'm not gonna <laughs> watch it again. No more spoilers. Yeah. I actually have to jet to go to another collab, so uh, I, we can't really talk for too long about this. I would say this is one of the best. I mean, I've only seen five episodes, but this yeah. did have arguably the most rewarding moment <laughs> yeah. out, out of the entire the episode so far. Like, it's a good, it's a good episode five to have that happen at because they've been building so much up to that moment where Kyler's being a douchebag. All the time. Danny LaRusso's daughter, like, involved with him, but you know she, she should probably be leaning towards Miguel. Miguel keeps getting his ass kicked. But I liked is that he didn't, like, take one lesson. Took a little time. Yeah. And he, a training montage. He, yeah, he got to actually train for a while to where it built up in the locker room. He gets his ass handed to him yeah. after he's trained for a while where he thinks he's got enough skills. Now he's got enough skills where he can hand Kyler's ass to him by doing it in front of a crowd of people yeah. at school. You know? well, you That's, know. like, the dream scenario right there. Yeah. On and on. Just the right moment to... Yeah. Villainy. It all built to the right moment, you know? Like, they built it up very well yeah. with all the high school teen drama, with Samantha kind of leaning away from that clique that she was with, and then yeah. not knowing who Kyler really is, and she's getting humiliated at school, and then he gets to have his chance of redemption, Miguel. I thought that was really well written, and yeah. it's ultimately redeeming for Johnny Lawrence as well, because it allows the school to boom off of a natural event where he put a lot Something of quality training. He and did that, right. Yeah, he did right. And Johnny Lawrence has also earned this as well. Yeah, totally. And I like the way that they're allowing the characters to be sort of gray. Like at the top of the episode, Johnny's basically like, I don't want a girl in my class. Yeah. Girls aren't supposed to fight. Same reason they're out women in the army and the limit wire. They don't completely flip his character around, but you get that he's at least starting the journey of maybe being a better human being. Exactly. And then you have Danny on the opposite side, who like we know and love, but who is doing some pretty despicable things in this episode and having oh, yeah. to come back to center. And even um, uh, her friend shuns her for being mm -hmm. a bitch. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I appreciate that they're allowing those kinds of little gray area character notes to, to take place here, basically. And for Danny LaRusso, too, I like how this show allows him to teeter on to jerk territory. Quite a bit, actually. There are times where this show will really flip who's the antagonist in this episode, in this dynamic. They're both learning to be human. Like and to you get said, out of the shadows of the past. They're both very gray qualities. Well, and I like that they draw them both. You know, Danny and Johnny as two dudes. They don't know each other that well. Well, but they really don't like each other. Yeah. And that's kind of a fascinating place to come from, and it's a lot more interesting than I thought a show like this would go for, mm -hmm. you know, because you do get to see them both as protagonists and antagonists. Yeah. And that's just kind of the natural order of things, and you're free to agree sometimes and disagree other times. The Robbie storyline, I get, like, really unrealistic, annoying vibes about that kid. I'm unless he's, unless it, he turns out to be a serial killer, then I'll be like, ah, oh, I get it. He's <laughs> using the, that's season yeah. three territory. Like, he's yeah. using the karate to kill people. Yeah. Like, yeah. uh, I, I see where they were going now. Now he just kind of has, like, creepy kid vibes. I'm 50-50 on that story, because, like, when he's at home with his mom and they actually did a little character development, you can see, like, the first inklings of, oh, you know, maybe I should give Dad a shot. I like 
the idea there. But certain things in other parts of the episode, like where he comes across them hugging at like the exact right moment yeah. and you know that he's going to probably be pretty upset about that. I can see the thing where he's working at the LaRusso dealership being maybe interesting or fun in some way, but what I'm really dreading is them drawing this out in this sort of like, I hate you, Dad. Yeah, I, I felt like they could have canned that storyline with Robbie, just focus on like the, the, the fact is he can't make repairs with his kid. He refuses to, and that's the kid's decision. Mm -hmm. But now he gets to form this relationship with Miguel, and I kind of like that focus. There's or a, take there's your a, time with yeah. bringing him back around. There was a, yeah, I feel like later on you could reintroduce him, yeah. bring him back, bring the storyline after everything here is fully complete or fleshed out. But they kind of had this like sinister twist ending of, I'm going to be working for Danny LaRusso now. At first I was like, oh, that's messed up. And then when I think about it, I'm like, well, what, what's, what's he going to do exactly? Gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's going to like clean at Danny LaRusso's car place? What, and what if that my mean? dad <laughs> ever notices, yeah. he's going to be kind of bummed about that. Very annoyed about that, yeah. <laughs> he's not like, what's he going to be trained on, you know? Unless Danny LaRusso goes down a path of you know, training people again. He's just set up a whole dojo inside yeah. of his home. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm really wondering. Or if maybe, because this episode's also about Danny coming back to a place of balance. I thought that moment where he goes and visits Mr. Miyagi's grave was really nice, and it brought him back down to a yeah. human level. So maybe this is going to be a tool to have Danny open him up to the idea of going right. back to his dad in some weird way. Like, right. I can see that maybe happening. It sucks that Mr. Miyagi can't be around uh, anymore yeah. due to his passing. It's cool that this show really does hone in on the spirit of him still like you do feel the spirit of the mr miyagi character in that scene when he's talking to the uh, to the tombstone yeah so yeah I, this was a great episode this is a fantastic episode yeah, i really dug it all about balance it's called counterbalance this episode counterbalance the knife with slash and oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there you go all right guys well thanks for watching you guys can subscribe to the reject nation click that notification bell full-length tv show reactions over at our patreon we'd love to have you become a patron eject today